In a popular culture consumed with otherworldly avatars, apocalyptic prophecies, and giant transforming robots, how did a 72-year-old drama about a small town in New Hampshire. This is the way we were in our filled with up, average people marriage, leading unremarkable dying, lives and in our living and in our dying. Become America's most produced play. Our town has no explosions, no alien invasions. Almost none. No giant robots. Yes. Why is it so gripping? <laughs> um, oh, wow. It's a good question. Our Town is Thornton Wilder's 1938 Pulitzer Prize winner, set in the fictional town of Grover's Corners in the early 1900s. Gee, it's funny, Emily. It was made into a movie in 1940 starring a young William Holden. But the play's the thing here. At any given time, Our Town is running somewhere. 4,000 productions in the last decade alone. Here's Paul Newman in the 2002 Broadway production. There's the 510 train for Boston, and here comes Ms. Webb and Ms. Gibbs down to cook breakfast just like it was an ordinary day. Over there is the Congregational Church across the street. The Our Town, currently at New York's Barrow Street Theater, is the longest running in the play's history. This is the back door. There's some scenery for those who think they have to have scenery. Its director and star is David Cromer. Most of us are gripped by the very small details of our day. Hello. Hello. If the person that you have sort of quietly have a crush on for a couple of weeks looks at you that day or doesn't look at you that, that day, and sometimes a very, very good writer can come along and put those very small details of our lives in such a way that you enjoy watching them. Thanks a lot, Emily. Our town's plot is pretty simple. There's very little scenery and only a few props. A narrator called the stage manager sets the scene. Right here, big butternut tree. Nice town. You know what I mean? George, Rebecca, you to school! The first act is about daily life in Grover's Corners. Once you found a person that the second is about the love that flowers between young Emily Webb and George Gibbs and their eventual marriage. This here's the new part of the cemetery. There's your friend Mrs. Gibbs. The final act? And let's see. There's In the words of the narrator, I reckon you can guess what that's about. Life people don't understand, do they? No, dear, not very much. They're sort of shut up in little boxes, aren't they? It's a play set in a small town with a universal message. Listen, we all live in a small town because we have probably a very, very narrow uh, number of people we actually relate to in the course of a day. The people I spoke today who, who needed things from me and who I needed from are the same people I talked to yesterday. It's glorious in its simplicity, that comparison, our town, not someone else's town, ours. At the end of Our Town, young Emily Gibbs has died in childbirth and is allowed to relive one day from her youth. She chooses her 12th birthday, but it's the ordinary, overlooked details of that day that strike her. Mama, I'm here. Her mother cooking breakfast, the sound of her father's voice. No Where's my girl? Where's my birthday? This is how it looked in the 2002 Broadway so production fast. with Maggie Lacey and Paul Newman. Do any human beings ever realize life while they live it every, every minute? No. Our Town, David Cromer says, is about the everlasting regret of all those moments in life that go unappreciated, even if appreciating every one of them is impossible. If you did appreciate every moment while you were living it, you would not actually be living it because you'd be viewing it and categorizing it. You'd be a crazy person blogging about every single second of your life. <laughs> exactly, exactly. I'd be tweeting or whatever, you know. <laughs> tweeting. Tweeting, tweeting, tweeting. And I'm not tutoring, so. 
can our town, with its small town pacing, hold the attention of the high speed Twitter generation? Fatima. Fatima. I joined four students from Validus Prep High School in the Bronx at a recent matinee performance. You know how it is. You're 21 or 22, and you make some decision, and then you're 70. By the play's end, at least two of the students were wiping away tears, including Jasmine Benitez. I was hoping, I was okay, I hope this is not going to be a boring play because I do not want to be on camera like falling asleep, but it really, it really caught my attention. And you were really moved at the end. Yeah, yeah, I really was. Our town gave Jaquan Arzu a new outlook. If you at least take a minute to look up and look at the sky and see how blue it is, you realize that, you know, it's not so bad after all. Is there enough in just a sunny day, in just a, an ordinary day, to fill the need for stimulation and... Well, the question is, isn't, is there enough? The question is, are you looking up? We all grow up. We all fall in love. Most of us have families and grow old. And we all die. That's our story. And today, when the definition of worldliness seems to be miles traveled, our town reminds us how rich the life around us is if we just stop and listen. The everyday of it will be fascinating because that is our truly common thing. Very few of us uh, have cars that turn into robots, almost none.